Hello everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com and in today's video we're going to continue our ultimate guide to landing page comparisons and we'll continue with the Instapage tool today. And this is one that is been around for quite a while, it's been a solid player in the space, but I have not personally used it before. So I'll go through and review the website with you. I will look at Google Trends to see how this tool is performing over time and compare it to some of the other contenders on this list. And then we'll go ahead and create our trial account and build our first landing page together. You ready? Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so here we are on the landing page of Instapage, and you can see here, get more from your digital advertising spend. So this is clearly one that's looking for uh, paid advertisement into opt-ins or freebies or sales pages, uh, less about the content marketing, which makes sense because this is a hosted solution. It's not assuming that you have WordPress installed. Uh, me as a content marketer, I enjoy having a WordPress and a blog and sharing my thoughts. So it's maybe not the, I'm not maybe the target audience here, but I'll go through as un- biased as possible and let you know what I think of it. Okay. So just kind of reviewing very nice, beautiful, clean homepage. You can see their integrations. So with your marketing stack, fantastic use of the term, um, MailChimp, Salesforce, Infusionsoft, HubSpot, some I don't recognize active campaign. So looks like they have some decent, they're, they're keeping up with the major players. Let's go ahead and take a look at their pricing. And you can see here their core for a monthly, oof, $129 per month, which includes 40 integrations, unlimited split testing, heat maps, conversion, analytics. So already you're much more expensive than Kartra, and it's not an all-in-one platform. So it must have a very fantastic uh, tool. Let's go ahead and figure it out. So we'll go to sign up. And I can sign up with Google. I'll go ahead and sign up with my account here and come right back once I've hit next. Okay, so after just signing up, putting in my email and clicking a few buttons to accept their terms and conditions, I am here on the dashboard and it says, congratulations on taking your first step towards lowering your cost of online customer acquisition. And they ask you what your goal is. So let's go ahead and say, capture free traffic from direct organic SEO email. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's go and let's see where that takes us. All right, conversion expert, what would you like to start with? Invite my team or create my page? Let's go ahead and create a page. So far, I like this. It's really holding my hand through the process. And it looks like it's taking me here to this list of pages. We're going to start with a blank page, a um, simple opt-in page. Then you get to more styled pages. So it looks like these are kind of skeleton outlines where you need to put all your information in. But here, they kind of filled it all in with some example uh, example items. You can see here all templates, lead generation templates, two-step templates. So I guess where you need to, what is a two-step in their definition? I'm assuming it means you click the button and that pops up the sign-up form. Okay. You also can see, looks like you can scroll through your templates here. So you can actually see the entire page pretty quickly, which is nice. And these are very beautiful templates. I will give that to them. Looks like they currently have 193 different templates here. Let's go ahead and go back to templates. I prefer to look at a smaller little view. Click through templates. Okay, so you can take these off and see only the click throughs. Then you can see specific thank you pages. So what looks interesting here is that you would need to pick a lead gen page and then try to find a thank you page that would match it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a lead gen. And let's just go ahead and pick one here and edit the page. Name it and continue. Okay, it loads pretty quickly. You can see here um, the ability to easily click and drag and change your padding around key responsibilities, nice looking icons. You can change the image. Looks like these are images and not icons. So if I search for thumbs up, big stock beta, so looks like this, they're still adding onto this tool and building it out over time. I get a lot of images of thumbs up. So let's take, oh, I have to buy it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's not very cool. So you have stock images built in, but they are not royalty free. You need to actually purchase them as you go. 
and it looks like there are no free options because everything has a buy button next to it. So you're paying $130 per month and then having to buy every image you use or upload them your, on your own. Okay, so here's free. Good, okay, so there are there is a free option here where I can insert this coffee mug. <laughs> and then you put an I don't know why they, this clearly looks like an icon module, but maybe they don't have icon modules. Let's take a look at Instablocks. Okay, so this is uh, very similar to Breezy where they can give you a number of pre-configured entire sections and you can insert the block. And you can kind of put it there in the middle of everything. Now my question is, can I reorder the blocks? Yep, I can move it and move it up. So they've got a pretty intuitive builder. I'm really not happy that they put in all those purchasable images right there and didn't really help you out too much. Looks like their options are very limited for the free photos. Okay, nice landing page. Let me see how, okay, so this is a drag and drop builder. Looks like it's very similar to Landingy. You can see in that previous review as well. Now let's take a look at mobile versus desktop. If I move this, let's say I want to move these into a single column. Like that. I can do it with the drag and drop and then I go to mobile. Group elements on the desktop view to maintain their order of appearance on the mobile view. Okay. Nice little tutorial, I understand. So if I go to mobile, it maintains that, which looks nice. Now let's do the same thing where I'm, I'm gonna move this just a little bit up. Let's say I wanna have, ooh, I need to group these, don't I? So let me group this, group. Now I'll move this section here and group this. Move it there, and let me group this. So if I go diagonal like this, which looks kind of cool, if I go to mobile, okay, it puts it back into a straight line, which is good. As I've pro as you might have heard from a previous video, I'm not a big fan of the style of builder because it means you you literally need to drag and drop it just right, and it's going to you know align everything to the center line. There you can see the little nub of the center line. This is a time consuming process to make things look right. And it can be more frustrating <laughs> than it's useful. Tools like Divi and Thrive Architect, where they align them into columns for you and you just ad adjust the padding from there. It can take a little while to get to know how it works, but once you've got it, it, I think is more scalable. Okay. So let's look at some of these other things we have. So we've looked at the Insta blocks. We can also add headlines. And my question is, can the headlines, okay, they can be adjusted to H1s, H2s, H3s. One thing I don't like is that it defaulted to show this as an H1 tag. And for search engine optimization, you don't want that. You don't want to have more than one H1 tag. Essentially, you would have one H1 tag for every single page, but then you can have multiple H2s. So a better way to do this would have been to simply um, default to H2 headers for all of your additional headlines you, you bring on. I'm trying to figure out how to delete this guy. Trash can, boom. All right, so that was headline, paragraph text, pretty simple. Just this, what is this? Arrange them. Okay, interesting. So it will auto detect if this text is found to be overlapping other items, you can adjust the order, the uh, arrange the order on the page, which is pretty sleek. That was a nice way of implementing that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the images again. So you got recent, free, and purchased, and then big stock. We're not going there. I'm not a big fan of that. Videos, you can embed your own videos. Right, click edit, put your video straight in there, as well as a progress bar and autoplay. Okay, nice. Can you add Looks like you can't add uh, any borders around it, like where you can have it embedded into an iPhone or into a MacBook, which I'm okay with that. That's kind of a, a weird feature, but it, it's become pretty standard across the page builder space. 
already I'm not a big fan of this. So when I clicked button, it just dropped it right there in the middle of the page because there's no real structure to how this web page is set up. And so when I went to move the button, I actually grabbed the wrong section here. Okay, so you can already tell this is not my preferred style. Let's just go ahead and um, link this button to an, okay, to a landing page. So once you've built out multiple landing pages, you can link them nicely using the buttons, the same way you can do this in Kartra. So let's go ahead and just uh, get to the, the goods here. Let's edit the form. This is all about creating leads. And let's go to the button style. Okay, easy enough. Apply for the job, let's say subscribe. All that's fine, corner radius. Make the button more circular, more square. Let's give it a nice light view there. Let's go back to edit, form style. Label position outside. In. Don't know why they would, oh, I see, it's, it's moving it above, like inside. Good enough. Uh, submission, here's the important part. So you can go to redirect or to download and you can upload a file. That's, that's nice. We'll go and redirect to, we don't have another page built yet. So I think we probably did this out of order. We'll go straight to a download file and let's go to file upload. And let me find a little example PDF that we can use as a freebie. Okay, so I found a file that I can use just as an example freebie. And this is just a little ebook cover. So we're good here. Now what I really want to see is how do I get the form to integrate with my autoresponder? So submission goes there, multi-step. What is a multi-step form? Okay, step one, step two. So these are gonna be maybe like for surveys. Oh gosh. Add a step. So once they've submit, submitted the first step, it goes to the second step. That's not very useful for me. Okay, I'm, I'm a little stumped here. I don't like being stumped. After step one. Okay, well, I am thoroughly frustrated here. Under step one, form style, button. Well, I can say that it looks nice, but most templates will look nice. And as I go here, I don't like the fact that it doesn't include icons. Icons are a great way to show additional uh, Illustration, you know, to make your point nice and visible without slowing down your page speed. And the fact that these are just PNGs, it looks like if I were to zoom this guy out, it doesn't seem to pixelate too much, but it's not a scalable vector graphic. Letting my geekness come out. And just the idea that everything is so drag and droppable, it means that unless you spend a lot of time, your stuff can look a little bit just not quite right. And I'm not a big fan of that. So let's go ahead and I'm failing at figuring out how to integrate this with my autoresponder. Maybe there's an option outside of the page. So let's go to settings, conversion goals. Maybe this is something I need to go into. Yep, so form submission is the goal. Okay. I guess we'll save it and we'll preview. Okay, thank you. So if I subscribe, okay. So it also looks like there was a LinkedIn URL required, but there was no data validation to actually submit a URL. So you can just put in dummy text like I did and it would be fine. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling this one. Let's go ahead and go back to edit. Let me exit out of this page and see if I can figure out one last time and then we'll kind of call this one a, 
Call it a game. Looks like you missed a few things. Okay, so that's nice. They automatically want you to do a split test because they know how important it is. So if I create a new variation, say new variation. Just made a small little change to the headline and now you can see my variations can be quickly flip-flopped back between. So that's nice, I appreciate that. Mobile page not finished. Okay, so they, they understand that. Looks like you haven't fine-tuned your mobile version yet. So if I have to go to mobile, you've made changes on desktop that are not reflected on mobile. Click regenerate mobile to see the changes here. Oof, I mean, look at this. You've got just stuff on top of stuff. Everything is kind of messed. And yes, I was dragging things around, but this is not good. This would take hours to really build. Let's regenerate the mobile and just see what it looks like. Sure. Not liking this. Put the headline below the subscribe button, whereas the standard way for page builders would be if you see a column on the left and a column on the right, it would drag this beneath. It would be from left to right. And then alignment. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna go ahead and chop this one off and move this one into the graveyard. <laughs> but let's 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 go ahead and continue anyways. How would you like to publish it? Okay, they offer you a WordPress. Install and sign into the Instant Page plugin on your WordPress site to connect to your personal projects. Uh, we'll go and say back for now. I'm not going to do the WordPress plugin. We'll do a custom domain. All right. Well, looks like you have to have a way to publish. Let's do a demo page. And just publish. All right, you can see the pages, you can create groups, integration. So I must have had to go in here. And available integration, they've got ConvertKit, Active Campaign, Campaign Monitor, a good number of email providers. They do not have Mailer Light. They have Zapier though, which is nice. So, decent integrations there. But let me go ahead and wrap up and give you my opinions on this. For $129 per month, um, I cannot recommend this tool. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. After using it for just 20 minutes now, uh, building a page gives you the, the challenges of that pixel perfect editing design, uh, which makes it more difficult than it is worthwhile. You'll find yourself dragging and dropping, trying to get everything pixel perfect, which is honestly a waste of time. And we have a limited amount of time there. So Instapage, while it's probably right for some people, I think there are better tools. Um, if you're looking for this all-in-one where you don't want to have a WordPress site, I think Kartra is hands and feet above uh, Instapage in that regard. And if you're looking for something that is WordPress-based, I think Divi, Elementor, Thrive will all do a better job than this tool for a better price point. All right, guys, John from IncomeMesh.com, and I'll see you guys in the next video.